Now, we met our next guest on the Today Show a few weeks back, and now she is an international superstar. Carolyn Hartz is a grandmother from Perth who made headlines after pictures of her in a bikini were released. Since then, she's been inundated with television and newspaper interviews around the world because no one can believe her age. And today, she is turning 70 years young, and Carolyn joins us now from New York. Happy birthday, birthday, Carolyn. This is a huge milestone. What are you doing to celebrate? Enormous, isn't it? Uh, well, I'm actually, because I'm in New York, my son has, lives in New York, and he's organised for us to have dinner in a little Greek restaurant um, with my one with one daughter who lives in uh, Los Angeles, who's come up for my birthday. My son is here, and his new girlfriend, and also a very close friend called Risa, who's going to be at the dinner. So I'm very excited. I'm very excited about it because three weeks ago, I didn't even know I was going to be in New York. Well, that sounds absolutely wonderful. Greek restaurant in New York City with family and friends. As we've mentioned, you've suddenly become this huge sensation with invitations to, to go on talk shows in the United States. How's it sitting with you? Has it taken you by surprise a little? Oh, for the first two weeks, I'd wake up in the morning and it was surreal. I'd think, what am I doing? I'm going to be on my way to New York in two weeks' time and I'm on a good day... I'm on a program tomorrow morning called Good Day New York. I'm being interviewed on that. I've been invited to Brazil. I've had a lot of invitations to other countries and other states. So I'm abs it's surreal. I wake up in the morning and I think, is this really happening to me? And then, of course, I wake up and think, wow, this really is happening. And I'm 70 in a few days' time. Yeah. Uh, it's unbelievable. Yes, it's, it's very surreal. It's wonderful. It is. It's great. It, now, as you mentioned, you're a mum of three. You have four grandchildren. What do they have to say about your newfound popularity? Well, my my grandsons, are, they're under 10, so unless I'm playing basketball or sitting on a plane with the Wildcats, they're probably not impressed. But my little one, uh, when I picked her up from school one day, she just looked at me in awe and said, Nana, you're famous. My teacher saw you on television. And I did laugh. It was so sweet. Um, my son rang me to say that I was trending and I had no idea what trending was. <laughs> what trending to me is a trending handbag or, yeah, sure. <laughs> or whatever. He said, trending, Mum, look it up. Uh, and my other daughter is just thrilled that I'm doing so well, and uh, that's Natanya. And the middle one thinks it's fantastic that mum's broken the stereotype yeah. mm. that uh, she's six, 70 and she's been, she started her career at 55. Um, she's successful. She's written a book and released that at 69. Uh, they're quite, ex they're very excited. They're, they're excited to see what can be done. I think that's very inspiring for them and everybody to know so that the, so you know, life be. can begin at 70. Definitely. You've got a beautiful yeah. family. They're a great They're credit great. to you. You, yeah. you. you told Carl and Lisa that one of the secrets to staying in such great shape was giving up sugar. Is that right? Yes. I gave up sugar, oh, it must be 28, 29 years ago now. I was 41. I lose track of the time because I was diagnosed pre-diabetic and... Um, it wasn't rocket science to me. I was, it suggested to me that I take drugs, but I knew I was a sugar addict. I mean, anyone who gets up in the morning and eats half a cheesecake for breakfast and right. afternoon tea is a packet of chocolate biscuits mm. uh, has a sugar problem, mm. and that was me. And so I decided to give up sugar because I didn't want to develop any disease because I've always played a lot of sport and I've always been healthy. But I got a shock at 41. But <laughs> as you can see, it's probably the best thing that ever happened to me. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, Carolyn, can you tell us now what a typical day on a plate looks like for you? Eating? Yes. Eating. Uh, I, I get up and I usually um, meditate for 20, 25 minutes and by then I'm a little bit hungry. And so, I'll, depending on how I am, I'll either have um, a protein drink and then I'll have breakfast an hour and a half later which is usually scrambled eggs or a couple of poached eggs, and I'll have it on a base of spinach. I have it with tomato. Sometimes I have a halloumi. Uh, other times I'll have uh, cheese, ricotta cheese, and always some green. 
Uh, other times I'll have a tin of salmon. I eat quite a bit of salmon. That's my breakfast. And then I'm usually hungry by 10 or 11 o'clock. And so I'll have a piece of fruit. And usually with almonds or some type of protein so that I don't get a sugar hit. It slows down the, uh, it, it's a, a G, it gives me a, um, a slower release of blood sugar. Then at lunchtime I'll have, I have protein for every meal. So at lunch I'll either have chicken or fish, I'll have a salad, uh, I'll have vegetables if it's winter. Uh, if I've cooked a casserole I'll take that to work and I'll have that for lunch in the winter. I eat quite a lot of soup in the winter. And then I have another snack usually in the afternoon. I either have a, a cookie that I've baked because I, you know, I have my sugar-free baking cookbook that I use uh, xylitol, perfect sweet xylitol in. So I bake biscuits and cookies and little treats that I'll often have in the afternoon. Mm. Not too many. Carolyn, I'll only have one biscuit or uh, something small. It's like certainly working <laughs> in your favour, that is for sure. And we will let you get back to your birthday celebrations. But thanks so much for sharing your time with us today. Thank you, Carolyn. Happy birthday.